We're cutting into your programming to bring you this special report on Hurricane Ida. Right now we're waiting on East Baton Rouge Parish Mayor President Sharon Weston Broom to speak. As of right now, there are no evacuation orders issued for EBR Parish, but we are learning that there are mandatory evacuations underway for Ascension Parish. We're going to check in with Brian in just a moment for the latest on the track of Hurricane Ida, but the mayor is at the podium. Let's, li let's listen in. Good morning, everyone, and thank you all for tuning in as we discuss how East Baton Rouge Parish is preparing for the tropical systems in the coming days. I want to start off by thanking our local media for joining us here at the Mayor's Office of Homeland Security and Emergency Preparedness. You all are an essential component of helping us communicate these essential messages to our residents. And I also want to thank our partner agencies throughout the parish and the state, including first responders, DPW, utility providers, nonprofit, and volunteer organizations. Our preparation and response to this storm is truly a team effort. I'm going to begin with a weather briefing that we have for the East Baton Rouge Parish as of 10.30 a.m. Hurricane Ida has emerged into the southeastern Gulf of Mexico and will continue northwest with significant strengthening expected as it crosses the Gulf of Mexico. Major hurricane force winds will be possible for portions of our area and across Louisiana. East Baton Rouge Parish is forecasted to receive 8 to 16 inches of rainfall with locally higher amounts possible from Saturday through Tuesday. And we are expecting the heaviest rainfall between Sunday and Monday. Rain bands could reach our area as early as mid-late Sunday morning. There is high confidence with the forecast track and intensity of this system, moderate confidence with timing. This is a very dangerous storm, and we will and will possibly bring life-threatening impacts. It's a powerful storm. We want to ensure all of you uh, that you take safety and be safe. Please take this seriously and use this time to prepare. On Thursday, I signed a parish-wide emergency disaster declaration ahead of the expected arrival of Hurricane Ida. This declaration allows our parish to request additional assistance from state or federal partners if our local resources become overwhelmed. Our DPW crews have checked out our pumps, fueled our generators, pre-staged barricades, and lowered Capitol Lake by two feet. Leading up to this storm, DPW has conducted an intensive drainage operation. We redirected road and landscape crews to clean out our blockages in our storm drains and canals. Currently, crews are patrolling bridges and culverts to remove any debris. This is in addition to our daily maintenance work. We have also made a lot of progress with our $20 million drainage initiative. In the last nine weeks, we have cleaned 1,400 storm drains, removing over 2 million pounds of sediment. This work will help our drainage capacity. But it is important to keep in mind that 8 to 16 inches of rain is forecasted over a short period of time. Depending on where the rain falls and how much we receive, drainage systems can be overwhelmed. So please, Take precautions now to prepare your homes and don't drive down flooded roads. While our city parish teams are making preparations, it is imperative that you take time to prepare now. Putting plans for your family in place should be a priority at this time. In addition to this water management work, we have increased the supply of sand at our sandbag locations throughout the parish. They're located at Airline Highway Fairgrounds, Alson Park, Cadillac Street, Doyle's Bayou Park, Flannery Road Park, Hartley Bay at Gardier Park, Lovett Road Park, Memorial Stadium, Zachary Youth Park. We are aware that the demand for sand is high. 
Our team is working as fast as they can to replenish sand at all of these sites. And we have DPW crews monitoring sand levels. So if you go to a site and they are out of sand, please visit one of our other sites. As I said, our teams are going out on a regular basis monitoring these sites, but you can imagine sand seems to be uh, and sandbags number the number one priority among a lot of our residents. You can find a site map at brla.gov slash emergency. That's brla.gov forward slash emergency. You can find information there on sandbags, et cetera. Now, if you are a senior citizen or a vulnerable individual and you need assistance with sandbags, please call 211. I want to thank the Council on Aging for the work they're doing to deliver sandbags to our vulnerable populations. I am immensely grateful for the work our community is doing to help our friends and neighbors prepare for the incoming weather. Now, I, I know many of our residents may have questions about shelters. We are proactively working with the state to establish pre-storm shelters for our residents. Our local and state teams are on the ground right now preparing shelters for our residents before the weather starts. We're taking COVID-19 into consideration and our team is working to ensure we can keep everyone safe to help limit the spread of COVID-19 in these facilities. Our team at MOSEP is activated and we are continuously monitoring the needs in our community and we will establish more sheltering options as needed. All of our city parish employees are standing ready to respond to the needs of our community. The parish search and rescue teams are prepped and ready. All of our boats and equipment are checked and in place. And the Baton Rouge Fire Department will begin doubling staffing at 7 a.m. on Sunday. We have also put in a request for a 15 high water, uh, for 15 high water vehicles and additional staffing from the Louisiana National Guard. Urban Search and Rescue Louisiana Task Force 2 has been stood up and will be responding to emergencies within East Baton Rouge Parish. Our teams at Entergy and Demco are standing ready as well. Please report all outages and down power lines to either Entergy or Demco. Call Entergy at 1-800-ENTERGY or Demco at 225-262. 1177. Now, you can also call 311 to report any downed and major uh, down trees and major debris. This will help our crews identify these obstructions as soon as possible. Our city parish team is doing our part to be red stick ready. You heard me say that over and over again. Let's all be red stick ready. We want to make sure that we have all hands on deck in encouraging people to prepare while we can. We're expecting weather to begin tomorrow, and we need everyone to take this time to prepare your homes and your families. We should all do our best to have a three-day supply of food, water, and medicine for every member of your household and your pets, and make sure you have hand sanitizer and mask in case you have to seek shelter or leave your home for any reason. Now, we all know this, that Baton Rouge is facing two emergencies. We're facing a major hurricane and we are in the midst of a pandemic. So please prepare for both. We don't want to lose any of you to either threat and we need to work together to stay safe. In addition to preparing supplies for families, please prepare your homes now. Encourage our residents, of course, to do the same. Clean up anything in your yards and ditches today that could inhibit drainage. Protect your homes from flooding by placing sandbags at all of the entrances and exits of your home. Now, yesterday I announced that trash and recycling services will not be operational on Monday and the North Landfill will be closed as well. We're keeping an eye on the weather to determine if operations will resume on Tuesday. Please bring your carts away from the street and store them safely. This can be a dangerous situation with heavy winds and we don't want carts causing damage to homes, cars, or even injuring residents. Yesterday, Governor Edwards shared with us that more than uh, 
shared with us more Louisianians have died in the aftermath of Hurricane Laura and from the hurricane itself due to generators. Many of these deaths, of course, were people who had generators near their homes and some even inside of their homes. So if you lose power and you do use a generator, do not keep the generator in your home and don't place it in your garage, near your doors, windows, or crawl spaces. Carbon monoxide is nearly undetectable and it can be deadly. And if you refuel your generator, make sure it cools off first. I want everyone to be prepared, but I also want everyone to keep safety in mind. As I said earlier, we are expecting heavy rainfall. Our roads may flood. Do not drive into water. Just a few inches of water can carry your car away. And we saw that firsthand in the flood in May. We don't want to lose any of our residents. Um, and we want to make sure that you turn around and don't drown. There's a high chance we will still have high water in our streets after the rain passes. So please stay in place. Don't go out looking around after this event takes place. Stay in place. We are in communication with stakeholders to ensure that they are prepared and to help spread any needed information to all of you. At this time, all flights out of Baton Rouge today are still on schedule, and our team at the Baton Rouge Airport is in constant communication with our airline partners. As far as cancellations, United will only have the first two flights out of Baton Rouge tomorrow morning, and the rest of their flights will be canceled. The rest are still being determined by our airlines. And for the most up-to-date information, you can check directly with your airline or visit flybtr.com, flybtr.com. Currently, we are working with industry partners to keep needed resources like fuel in Baton Rouge. Please make sure you have adequate fuel in your vehicles. I've seen that many of our gas stations are running out of fuel, so please, if you can, prepare ahead as it relates to fuel. Once the storm passes, East Baton Rouge Parish first responders and DPW will begin clearing roadways of downed trees and debris so emergency vehicles can get through. Our priority is opening routes to our hospitals. Additionally, a relief fund for Ida recovery has been established by the Baton Rouge Area Foundation. If you're interested in donating, you can send your donations to braf at braf Org. I'm aware that I've given you a lot of information here, but it is all essential for our response and our recovery efforts. I'm going to take a moment to recap the most important information for all of you all. To receive this information real time via text message, please text Red Stick Ready, one word, Red Stick Ready to 225 243 9991. That's 225 243 9991. Text red stick ready, one word. If you need information or assistance with sandbags, shelters, or anything else, call 211. Call 211. If you need information or assistance with sandbags, shelters, or anything else, call 211. Call 311 to report debris and call 911 for all emergencies. Call 511 for updates from the Department of Transportation and Development. You can report power outages and down power lines to Entergy at 1 800 Entergy and Demco at 225 262 1177. Sand and sandbag locations, emergency resources, shelters, road closures, and community resources can be found at brla.gov slash emergency. This situation is fluid. We all know that weather is a fluid situation, unpredictable. 
but we need you to stay connected to the local news stations and to the National Weather Service for the most up-to-date weather forecasts. Follow Red Stick Ready on social media for updates from the Mayor's Office of Homeland Security and Emergency Preparedness. Please prepare now. Listen, we all know that this is a resilient community. We faced challenges before, and we have risen above the challenges. And we can and we will do it again. As you prepare, I ask that you pray for our community. Pray for the safety of your friends, family, neighbors, and every resident of our parish and surrounding areas as well. I want to leave you with a word. Don't panic. Don't be fearful. If we stick together and work together, we will get through this. God bless East Baton Rouge Parish. Any questions? Can you talk a little bit more about the emergency program that you guys have in store, transportation, and uh, capacity? I'm All right, that was Mayor President Sharon Weston Broom giving an update on the parish's storm preparations. And her big message was prepare and be safe. Some of the highlights was she was saying that the storm could possibly be life threatening. She have, there are crews out in EBR working right now to clear the roadways and clean the ditches as they've been doing over the past couple of days. She also mentioned in several places where you can get sandbags, but we have that information on our website at brproud.com, not just for EBR, but for other parishes as well. She's working with the state to prepare shelters in case they are needed. And if there are any, and if you see any down debris or trees or anything in your neighborhood after the storm, it is best to call 311. Now, if you missed the mayor's press conference, we, are, we have that posted right now on our website. But let's send things over now to Brian for the latest on the storm's track. Yes, now Ida has now moved into the Gulf of Mexico. And on this satellite imagery, notice at the very end of the loop right there at the center of the storm,